So for this video, we are going to be talking about how to start your own princess wardrobe. This is going to be a complete guide, very similar to how I created the how to start a vintage wardrobe uh, video. Um, so it's going to be very similar to that, but this time we're going to be talking about how to develop the princess aesthetic, wear a shop, uh, how to put things together, and just overall kind of basics on how to begin your journey as a princess. So let's jump right in with top tip number one, and that is in its own right a vintage style as well um, but instead of it being an everyday look it is looks supported by royal people that leads me to tip number two to keep in mind and that is you do not have to be ever appropriate in fact I really think you need to go closer into your eyebrows and wearing your eyebrows and wearing your eyebrows mentioning range in a lot of different eras and styles of the princess look. Um, some of the stories that I'm mentioning do have more of a Victorian dark vibe. Some of them are super light and powdery and girly. So definitely check through the stores that I'm recommending and see which store suits you the best. I'm also going to be breaking it down through price range. So we're going to go from the cheapest to the most expensive. Um, we're going to be talking about where you can get corsets, where you can get hair bows, um, where you can get stuff like that and just overall stores where you can 
find everyday wearable princess attire. So let's go ahead and break this down. So starting with shop number one, I'm gonna do a little bit of a shameless plug here and plug in my merch. So I have been creating princess uh, lounge attire for a few months now. Um, I'll show you one of my most popular ones. It's this one, this is just a princess sweater. It comes in a lot of Disney princess colors, like yellow, white, black, um, more of a powder blue. This is the Tiffany blue, I have it in pink. And I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of other colors as well, like lavender, which I'm super excited about. Um, a lot of them are sold out, but I still have the Tiffany blue in stock. And I have a few other designs as well that are very princessy. So if you're looking for like very casual loungewear and you wanna support my channel, buying my merch really, really helps. So I figured I would let you know that there are some new designs up. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into shop number two. So the next shop I'm recommending is called Chic Wish. I actually came across them a few months ago. They have really girly, um, frilly princess style attire for a very affordable price compared to a lot of other shops. Um, that's the one I really recommend. They primarily have more on the girly end, so if you like the dark Victorian stuff, keep watching for the other shops. But Chic Wish is a really good place for your everyday princess attire. The next shop that I recommend is actually a small shop, and her shop is called Antique. Um, she's on Instagram. She uh, has on her shop a lot of cottagey style stuff and a lot of Victorian style stuff. Um, so if you're into that Snow White vibe, Antique is a great, great spot to shop at. Um, she has a lot of cute corsets and puff sleeves, um, ranging in a lot of different neutral tones and colors. Um, and yeah, it's really, really cute. So I really recommend Antique. Again, a small shop, so you'd be supporting a small shop. Um, and their prices are really, really reasonable. The next shop that I recommend is also a small shop, and they're called Jasmine's Vintage Closet. I actually own a piece from their shop, and it's the most comfortable thing in the world. Um, they also carry that Snow White cottage core princess aesthetic with the Victorian twist. Um, so Jasmine's Vintage uh, Closet is on Instagram and pretty affordable as well. There is also a shop called Needle and Thread. Needle and Thread, I've actually purchased a dress from there and I'll show you what that looks like. They have more of a cottage vibe as well. If you're looking for like that cottage look that can be worn in a very formal setting, Needle and Thread is a great spot to be looking for dresses like that. Now this next one I can't really pronounce and it's Chatrené? Chatronette? Chatroné. Chatroné is a pricey shop, but again, they do have a lot of great quality evening wear. Um, I personally don't own, a, own anything from them, but again, I know a lot of people who do and they really recommended it, so I figured I'd put it in this video. Now we're really getting into the high dollar science here, and the next one is Tuta Motoshi Yuriki. Now I have two dresses from there that I've worn, the princess blue dress, which you've seen in the past video, and my Mulan premiere dress. Um, they have amazing, amazing dresses. Honestly, for the craftsmanship that they provide, the prices are more than fair, but they are high. Um, so I really recommend if you're looking for your ball gown, your, you know, every princess should have the ball gown in their closet. Um, especially if you're looking for a dress for your Sweet 16 or for your wedding. Tutu Matoshi makes amazing, amazing stuff and it is custom made for your body, so there is that factor as well. Um, but they are, when I think of the Princess Ball Gown shop, I think of them, so really recommend it. Now if you're looking for corsets, I really recommend Amazon, um, I really recommend French Meadows. French Meadows uh, makes custom made corsets and they're very period accurate. You can also check out a shop called Subculture. Subculture, if you like especially the more dark, grungy corset style or clothing in general, Subculture actually makes really awesome dark Victorian corsets and they're really good quality too. Um, so French Meadows, Amazon, or Subculture are great spots to buy corsets. If you're looking for specific things like robes, I think robes 
are a great way to channel your inner princess. I actually wore a robe in my princess video and a lot of you guys were asking where I got it. And the person that I bought that from is named Catherine Delish. She's an independent designer. Catherine Delish makes um, boudoir, um, classy, vintage, feathery robes that are just absolutely gorgeous. Made out of satin and chartreuse and all this great expensive things that I cannot pronounce. Um, but her stuff is really great quality. It is a little bit pricey, but it is well worth the money. It's going to last you a lifetime. So I really recommend Catherine Delish. Now, if you want those kind of robes on a budget, there actually is a seller on Amazon. Um, I actually just bought one. I bought a pink one uh, after it went viral on Amazon. Or not Amazon. <laughs> it's on Amazon. But after it went viral on TikTok, somebody bought it and they're like oh my god it's such good quality so i bought one and it's gonna be here right before valentine's day the next shop on the list is etsy etsy is my go-to for pretty much any fashion style to be honest because there's a lot of creators who make handmade stuff for example every hair bow that you see in every video is actually from an etsy shop called very shine very shine um super affordable bows really good quality they're handmade um, so Etsy is a great place if you're looking for more unique pieces, handmade pieces. And lastly, if you're looking for shoes, honestly any of the shops that I've mentioned are great because I think a lot of them, if not all of them, do wear, uh, do sell shoes. Um, but you could also check out this place called Harriet Wild. Um, Harriet Wild makes really nice classy um, heels and just shoes that just give off the ultimate, ultimate princess vibe. So um, I really recommend checking them out or again, checking any of the shops uh, for shoes as well. Now that's really all the advice I have. Um, I feel like just being aware of where to shop already is enough advice because there's not enough advice I could provide because the princess aesthetic is such a broad style. Like there are so many tiny little styles within the style that there's no way I could technically give advice on how to um, dress like a princess because that is defined in many, many different ways. But like I said, if you use the top three, three tips that I gave you, you should be fine. So yeah, that concludes the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if you guys have any more specific questions about the princess style, make sure you comment them down below and I'll get back to you. And um, Depending on how many questions I get, I might make another video. So if you guys want more princess and vintage content like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next one.